You know those mornings where you just know great things are going to happen? You sound weirdly excited about a couple of hours work in a florist. Yeah, I'm not going in today. Oh. So you can help me clean this place? <laughs> Easy, tiger. I do have things to do. How are you? Listen, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it, all right? If you're just full, kettle's on. See you in a bit. You don't look great. I don't sleep. <clears throat> Have you changed your mind about... Have you? It's OK, we agreed. I just... I can't face work or people, not yet. No, no. You go back to bed. I'll call the factory, and then I'll see if I can get something to make you feel better. Morning, beautiful. And me about on fleas on dogs. I'm saying you look nice. So one minute, you're threatening me to go to prison. The next minute, you're flirting. If you can call that flirting. Leave it alone. Well, I'll kick your backside back to whichever hole you crawl from. You can't even pay a woman a compliment these days. Just like your dad. Flash suits wrapped around dodgy deals and sleazy chap lines. Have a good day at the garage, Kev. Dad, just, dad, just leave it. It's like he's got you sussed out. Off to your little temp job. Should've stopped with me, mate. Someone's going places. Yeah, yeah, looks like it. You're hardly going places with a rip in your coat, are you? There's nothing flash about that. Because when it comes to intolerance, we should all show zero tolerance. What if this guy loses his job? Well, so he should, and then he'll think twice about his casual sexism. What do you think? Yeah, it's not bad. I'm trying to get a building firm to instate gender equality. Not bad doesn't cut it. Well, I'm not talking about your speech. I'm talking about your outfit. Where have you dug that up from? Suits are very empowering when a woman enters what's known as a man's world. Yeah, tell that to Hillary Clinton. Well, it worked for Margaret Thatcher. Listen, your clothes are the least of your worries. What do you think? I mean, men don't have these issues, do they, when they get dressed? Exactly. So why do you have to wear something horrible to be taken seriously? So, I need you girls to come down too and show them that we're standing shoulder to shoulder. Mum, we can't afford to lose a day's peg. OK, I'll reimburse you. Hmm, you know, what would Margaret Thatcher say? You know what, I'll make you a deal. If we come today, you've got to burn that Iron Lady DVD. Deal. Tell Rosie. I've already downloaded it. I heard that. Hiya. I know, I know. You took a wrong turn, and here you are at Kate Middleton's. Oh, come here, you. <gasps> Hello, sweetie pie. Hello. Hello. How did you, uh, did you get anything sorted with Steve? Oh, he's the last person I want to talk about. Right, if you're stopping, get Kettle on. Mm. Mm. Rough night. Oh, you know when new mum's bang on about how exhausting it is, you don't realise till it happens to you. Hey, listen, I'm not working today. Why don't we have him when you can catch up on some sleep? Hey, just... <laughs> when you say we... Yeah, well, you can teach him about betting odds or something. <laughs> yeah, how to roll his own smokes. <laughs> yes, well, sadly for baby, I'll ever have got mm. work. It's your day off. And we need the extra cash. Are you sure? I'm his auntie, of course I'm sure. You want to hang out with Auntie Tommy, don't you? Yes, you do. You're not even ready. I'll only be five minutes. Amy, how many times? Michelle has moved on. You've got to leave her alone. But Michelle dumped Dad, not me. Yeah, I know that. And very soon your dad will have a new girlfriend, and I'm sure you'll like her just as much. Not as much as Michelle. Look, darling, no matter how many partners your dad has, you'll only ever have one mum, and that is me. And I'm not going anywhere. I thought you were having a filling. I am. Tracy, before you insist that Mum knows best, may I suggest a link between Amy's breakfast and her filling? No. And try not to do anything silly while I'm gone, eh? Hi, Millie. Uh, Tracy's taking Amy for... A filling. Ah, good. Because it's you I came to see. Just to say thanks for everything you've taught me. Uh, about what? Well, there's this for a start. Um, how to feed a weed and starve a blossom. 
Oh, it was my pleasure. Uh, but it's the other way round. One starves a weed and, and, and feeds a blossom. Mm, sounds like I need more lessons. Oh. Why don't we do it over a brew? I'm all yours. Oh, I didn't give you Tracy's last tea bag. Do you mind popping down to Deb's? It's not really my kind of thing. Oh, women's rights. Oh, making a scene. How do I find that hard to believe? <laughs> I'd like to apologize. Hmm? I really should be working. I am truly sorry. Hmm? What for? What I said about Sinead, uh, I barely know her. It was unkind. It's fine. I mean, how long have you known each other? A few weeks? The least I could have done would give you time to get to know each other before passing judgment. Just because I've only known Sinead for a couple of weeks, it doesn't mean that... I want to make it up to you. Everything that we... Missed. And that might be easier if we started again. I'd at least like to try. Okay. Yes? She pied him, mate. Serious. Yeah, man, jokes, innit? And just when he thought he had her locked down. Well, that's what you get when you're with a man. It's all like PM this one, DM that one. Innit? And then wonders why she's dug him out all over socials. Dig me out, I'll drop you out. Standard. Standard. <sighs> but it's at the time. No rest for the wicked, eh? Innit, though? Remember Mitty and Anne? Is she an actual nurse? Well, they ain't flaming Halloween. <sighs> I miss the calf. The cream cakes. The conversation. With Roy. I have had better chats with that kebab pole. Exactly my point. A few grunts and some texting talk isn't conversation. Oh, stick a chip in it, Granny. Oh, you'd stop chucking away the profits. What's a road, man? Is it a navy? Coming. Yeah, we're home already. Well, we're practically outside. Rosie, we live eight steps away. Sophie, I'm a model. I get paid to undress in front of people. I'm pretty sure that's not the job description. Uh, I am not turning up to a site full of builders looking like a half-burnt bonfire. Girls, come on, we're gonna be late. Oh, all the best. Uh, heard about your meeting. I think it's admirable. And perhaps you could have a word with your sleazy grandson. Adam? Yeah, well, if the cat fits. Why would he respect women when he doesn't even respect the law? Good luck, Sam. Sophie, come on, go and get changed. We'll meet you in the cafe. Where's, where's my car? this overtime. How did you find me here? Are you following me? Look, we said it was a one-off, so do us both a favour and get lost. No offence, but it's not you I'm here for. Ronan. Don't panic. It's not about me and you. You spent half the night with the police being interrogated. So what for? The girl Zoe that OD'd a few weeks ago. She's been buried today. Yeah, well, the cops let him go, so... Any more questions? Look, trust me, he's in no mood for a quiz. Just tell me why you're here. I doubt it's to save our souls, unless you left your Bibles at home. So what do you want? Didn't 
Didn't I tell you not to do something stupid? Well, it's your relative and almost employee. How was I to know he'd fleece you the minute my back was turned? Oh, just stay out of my way, will you? Stay! I'm oh, not going to believe this. What? No? Uh, wait, wait, wait. So, you haven't taken my car without asking? Uh, no, but I think I know who has. Well? Three things have gone missing. A hundred quid from my till, your car, and your wonderful grandson. Adam. I've got a business proposition for you. What makes you think I do business with strangers? We're not strangers. Trina and I, I mean. You know him? Adam. He plays football with our Nicky. They go back years. So where's that accent from? If you grew up around here? I, uh, I moved down here when I was nine. The accent's as stubborn as I am. All I want is the opportunity for us both to make some serious cash. Remember, stay calm and stay cool. Today is about sealing the deal. It's not about picking up a sting. No wonder Mary's a no-show. Oh, she loves a good tear-up, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm more the John Lennon school of protesting. Well, he did it without leaving his bed. I like this strong guy's style. What is he complaining for? Uh, world peace. Did it work? Oh, quick, assume positions. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's all this? Look, the boss was expecting you on your own, not mob-handed again. <laughs> Hardly mob-handed. Yeah, well, come back without the Spice Girls and you're on. Uh, Councillor Metcalf. Ah, oh, Rachel, nice to see you again. And you. Uh, this is Rachel and she's a reporter at the Weatherfield Gazette. And they're very interested in local builders agreeing to outlaw derogatory, outdated heckling of women. Do you have a photographer with you? Yeah, he's on the way. Do you still want me to come back another time? Come on, then. But just you, though. Could you tell them to stand down? We'll wait for you in the cafe, Mum. Good luck. You won't regret this. Trust in me. I won't let you down. Oh, I know you won't. Katrina must have told you I don't trust anyone. Just make sure you're there. 4.30, okay? 430. I'll be there. Here's you then. Yes, another boring afternoon in front of the telly. <laughs> I wish I had nothing better to do than watch shed makeovers, I'll tell you that. Well, why don't you come in? Have a drink. <laughs> On the clock, of course. <laughs> Girlfriend would kill me. I've left a babysitting a nephew. You're good with kids, are you? When they're not mine. One drink. Sorry, no. Cheers. Earlier than I thought. How was it? The spa. Oh, we never went. Why? I mean, was there a problem with the voucher? You shouldn't have to miss out. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry we never went. I'm sorry you wasted your money. I'm sorry for everything. I'll pay you back. Just leave it. Hold on. I give my ex and the bloke she dumped me for a weekend away, and I'm the bad guy. How does that work? Oi! Sinead! Hi, Michelle. I'm, I'm just calling to check that you're getting my texts and my voicemails, and I sent a few emails too. I miss you.
Is um, everything okay? Uh, yeah, thanks. Well, I'm, I'm not actually here for me. Oh, you're here for Sinead. Sorry, I shouldn't have. Has she been to see you? No, um, I've just seen her. Um, she seemed really upset. Hi. Um, I should... Maybe let her have some space. Clear her head. But we could talk, if you like. Me and you? I'm still officially on my break, if you want to go in there. Oh, I don't know. It's personal. They're private. As your nurse, not your neighbour. 150% confidential. Or they'll find me. Ten minutes will watch away and everything. <laughs> to come on one of the nights out like what our customers go on. Then you'll fit in more. Who says I want to fit in? You're a sot just now. No, I'm not. I'm coming a night out with me. I'll have a few cheeky vim tools, shaft me out pool, couple of shots, and then finish it off with a nice oh, big... let me guess. Do it taste different when you're tipsy? Oh, I'd rather eat cat air. Right. You come on this night out with me? Yeah. And I'll try your quiche without a crust. You said it was like a carvery without meat. And I'll listen to that play thing what you like on the radio. You said radio plays were for people who can't afford Netflix. Well, how are you meant to know who's who when you can't see them? But I would do both them things for you if you come on this night out with me. We got a deal. God help me. God loves a kebab. Oh. <laughs> I really think it's worth getting nicked for. What do you think's worth fighting for? Well, I've only ever fought over the usual stuff. Bailiffs, blokes, new telly on Black Friday. Mm. I marched against the war. What, in Vietnam? Mm. Oi, how old do you think I am? Maybe you can get us another ball. You go. Oh. This is the photographer? Hiya. Hello, hello. He doesn't look old enough, does he? Mm. I don't think he's left school. How Hours I've been sat here. Mm. Cut me and I'd bleed Yorkshire tea. A waste of time. Not if she's one of the protesters. That's her. Rosie. Webster. I went to school with her. A glamour model, had an affair with our teacher who kidnapped her. Then, oh, that's all in the points. And she's Councillor Metcalf's daughter. I've got clue. Which one do you like? Ladies, cakes on me. Oh, oh my God. God. Not in his flat. And the little rat has turned his phone off. Who's the little rat? Speak to Kevin. What's Kevin got to do with it? Grandad. Amy, what have I told you about interrupting? Well? It's something you said about Adam earlier. I, I need to ask him what he meant. Look, Dad, just don't get worked up, eh? You should get to the medical centre. I'll deal with Adam. Amy! Where are you going? To the shop. And I noticed the car had gone. I am sick of hearing about that flaming car. Where's my money? Betsy, I'm sorry. It was a loan. A favour. I need another one. What? Keep Grandad sweet for a couple of hours. When I'm done, you'll get cash back with interest. What are you up to? Just keep him sweet, all right? How much interest? Double. Three times what I took. OK. But make your story good, because he is gunning for you. Ah, uh, so you've got a new coat, then? Well, treat yourself to something slightly less embarrassing. You're the one that should be embarrassed, mate. Turning down the chance to make thousands for a couple of hours' work. You know, for once, I hope you're all talk. Because if you've got your hands dirty with drugs, it's all over, mate. And you will have made the biggest mistake of your life. You reckon? Pure jealousy, Todd. Well, some things aren't that clear-cut. Having a baby isn't just about practicalities. It's about emotions, feelings. You think the termination was my decision? No. You told me you both made it together. But sometimes people say what they think the other one wants to hear, especially if they really care about each other. What do you mean? 
Are you sure this is what Sinead wants? No. No, I don't think so. She's been really up and down. She's not sleeping. But how will I know, for sure? You need more time, both of you. And don't be so hard on yourself. I see loads of people having kids young, and they make great parents. It's about more than just getting into debt and endless sleepless nights. Thank you so much. I asked you first. Nowhere. Can I come? No. Of course not. Just like the rest of them. Sick of me. Uh, Amy, I'm just really busy, all right? Just like them. Too busy for me. Listen, I'm not messing about. Get out of the car. I've got somewhere to be. Nobody cares about me. Not my mum or my dad. Might as well just run away. No one would even notice. 